actually know what's going on here. I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hello. And welcome back to 20 whatever. <laughs> Christmas edition. Oh my gosh. The outfits, the set. If you are not watching the video version. Now's the time to do that. Yes. Because <laughs> the set, it is Christmas-fied. Christmas-fied? Christmas-fied? I don't know. Chris mystified. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I just love coming over to Sierra's house and getting dressed up and playing dress up no, and literally. shooting and talking. S- sitting on the couch. <laughs> yes. Talking so, shit. Filming our little TikTok. Yes. <laughs> we are. Well, speaking of TikToks, can well, you guess which one we filmed today? Take some guesses. Take some guesses. It's giving slay. It is giving In slay. Every definition. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So we're dressed up as the Mean Girl Santa Jingle Bell Rock outfits. And of course, we filmed that TikTok and many others. Many. And we're, I'm just like feeling myself in this. 100%. I had to take some pictures on the stairs because I was feeling a little too sexy. I okay. was like, let us we, get maybe, it. Maybe we should talk about that a little bit. We didn't have plans on taking these cute little cheeky pictures, but we all took no. turns like Because we realized pics. how hot we all looked. Ryan was like sprawled out on the stairs. I was in the doorway. <laughs> P was over the fan for my Peloton bike, like Marilyn Monroeing it. Yeah. <laughs> we need a, a calendar, a Christmas calendar of all of our sexy posts. No, yes. literally. Oh we gosh. really do. Honestly, wait, imagine. Maybe oh. I'll print off all these pictures and make a calendar for our white elephant or something. <gasps> yeah. Oh my that's god! So funny. Oh, actually, wait. wait that's actually we might have done something. So funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Write that down. Write that out. We need to remember that. <gasps> oh, okay. Other thing that has to be addressed. We have seen the comments. Oh. We yes. have seen the ask, and we have delivered. So the world debut. Drum roll, pre- yes. please. <laughs> The Jess Cam. Hi, welcome to the little tech corner. <laughs> oh, Make exactly. yourself at home. <laughs> that is cute. The tech corner. I love. I love. Jess really is like the backbone of this podcast. Like even so the the topic we're going to do today is the Vogue 73 questions. Jess was just giving us the rundown on how she sourced these. Jess. Let them know. It was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a set 73 we could find from Vogue. Um, so we like sourced all the popular transcripts, which was like rewatching Zendaya's and like Lady Gaga's and all of these wonderful famous people. And, uh, and then a couple like third party websites and blogs had them. So we have a collection, a little smorgsbord yes. of the 73 Vogue questions that get asked. Um, and we're really, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this one since we like relaunched the podcast or, re- or since we rebranded the podcast. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. I feel like this is one of those things where you watch them on YouTube and you're like, I want to do that. Or you like kind of answer them while yes. watching. <laughs> to be honest, if I, I have to admit, I've never seen any of, I've just like, no, like it's you a like thing. Know. I, I know yeah. it's a thing, but I've never actually clicked and watched one, which, because I, and I wanted to before this episode, but I was like, you know what? Let me wait till after. So I do that all the time. Like I'll come up with a video idea or I'll want to do a trend and then I have to like stop myself from like watching similar ones because I'm like I don't want to accidentally like, like do what they're doing yeah like yeah. Exactly. anything from it yeah exactly. that's true I feel the same way and then I end up watching it and I'm like well now I feel like I'm gonna end up like doing what they've done yeah you're right that's smart <laughs> you're smart smart <laughs> oh you ho ho hoes <laughs> <laughs> love that speaking, speaking of which we're dressed as Santa oh, and you yes. know what they say about Santa he sees you when you're sleeping mm. he knows when you're awake he sees too much, actually. He really does. Finding okay, that facts. out, I got a little stressed. He no, says, right. We've talked about that with Steve, like for Grace. I told Steven, I'm like, we can do Santa, but I don't want to do like naughty, nice list. Mm. Like he's watching, he's watching you. Because that, yeah. that stressed me out as a kid. Yeah, For sure. Like no, while I'm absolutely. sleeping? Yeah. Well, and then like kids who don't celebrate Christmas, it's like, did the like kids who believe in Santa just think that like, they were like their friends were bad. Right. Yeah. Cause oh. like they don't celebrate Christmas. Right. Like, I actually that, never thought about that. Yeah. So we're just doing like, he just, he brings the he gifts. brings gifts. And he's holly If you jolly. believe in him. Right. There you go. And yeah. That's yeah. It. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. But yes, we are dressed as Santa. Yes. And Santa, seeing you when you're sleeping, knowing when you're awake. And do you know what we're doing when we're sleeping? Sleeping good. On our Helix mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> And Helix Sleep is sponsoring today's podcast. Thank you, Helix. But let me jump in there, Sierra, because I am so obsessed with my mattress. I, You made such a good point last time that you noticed when you don't have your bed. Since I've been traveling, I finally got home and holy cheese knits. <laughs> I was like, th- there's a difference. My back feels fantastic. I don't, I don't want to leave home. No, you miss right. her, right? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> yes. I think about her. When she when I'm sleeping, <laughs> when I'm awake, you're awake. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and then conveniently shipped right to your door. We love that. It's the convenience for me. It really you know is. What I mean? And I- just like Santa. It you comes know, right to your door. Right to your right door. door. Now we can't guarantee that they're going to put it down your chimney, <laughs> right? But it will come right to your house. Yeah, right. very convenient. <laughs> Me wondering, does what if you don't have a, ch- a, like chimney. a chimney? I wonder. Or a fireplace? That. Does he just go through the door? Yeah, he's just got a key. Well, did you okay, see the see. Santa Claus? <laughs> the, like oh, that's a, right. A it chimney just like would appear. appear. That's mm. right, and he just kind of gets sucked Sucks. through. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, like we're saying, just like Santa. He knows that everybody's different and he looks sleep knows that as well. They make you a sleep quiz that you can match your unique sleeping needs and with your preferences as well. So they make a perfect mattress just for you. So a few months back is when I took the sleep quiz and I got uh, set up with the Midnight Lux mattress, which I am so obsessed with. I think that quiz really, really helped because it's hitting all the spots that I need, especially because I'm such a turner and it mm. it doesn't feel like the other mattresses. Like I said, when I'm traveling, they're not customized to how I want. So that quiz the best we have the same one the midnight lux it's like a medium feel not too soft not too firm really good for side sleepers too because it really helps uh alleviate all those pressure points yeah that memory foam is so supportive i can feel it in my back she is working i feel it (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean we've had our helix mattress for over a year now and it is just so comfortable we feel super supported sleeping excellently (laughs) i've been going into your room being like let me try this little helix mattress out and i just sit on the bed one time we were filming something and i was like i'm just gonna sit here and watch and i was like i might just take a little nap you're like oh helix no it was like really giving (laughs) yes that's so true when ryan came in to my room she like laid on it was like oh my gosh this is the helix mattress the the 20 whatever endorsed helix Helix. 10 out of 10 (laughs) 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 we'll be getting one And Helix makes buying a mattress online really easy. Not only do you get a 100 sleep night trial, so over three months, but you also get a 10-year warranty. Wow. That's a deal, baby. No, it is. (laughs) (laughs) And they also have financing options available and flexible payment plans. We love that. So over three months to make sure that you really love it. And if you don't, then they will come and pick it up right from your house. And you'll get a full refund. Yep, that too. (laughs) (laughs) Snaps for Helix, man. (laughs) Snaps. And Helix delivers your mattress right to your front door for free within the U.S. And as I mentioned last time, it came rolled up in the box and it was super easy to set up. Insert cute B-roll of P setting up her mattress. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I was by myself, but super easy. (laughs) I love my Helix, and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, definitely check out Helix. So click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash 20whatever for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress, plus two free pillows, okay? Look at that. (laughs) We love a deal. We do. All right, ladies, are you ready to be interviewed? Oh, yes. Yes. Without further ado, Vogue 73 questions, 20whatever edition. Here we go. Can I get a little little drum roll for our first question? (laughs) Okay. And again, the goal is to answer all the questions. Right. You don't, you can give me a very thorough answer. You can give a quick answer. They are all lovely. What are you most excited about these days? Motherhood and the podcast. Mm. Those two things. Like one work, one personal. Yeah. Yeah. I would say definitely the podcast. And I don't know why, but I have really good feelings about 2023. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling excited. Me too. I absolutely agree. That is what I'm most excited is like this next year because I can just feel it in my bones that something something's going to happen. Gonna give. Yes. I don't know. Because this year was just such a great year and mm-hmm. I'm so happy and I'm so excited to see what's to come. But yeah. yeah. All right. Our next question is, so what's something you do every morning without fail? Poop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am on a schedule. Are you? Wake yes. up, poop. Wake up, poop. Take the dogs out. Go get girls. Do you really poop every morning? Every morning. Shut up. Yep. That's healthy, though. Regular girly. Wow. She takes her fiber. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Well, I was going to say check my phone. I, I was going to say tragic, but... make, uh, drink, make my coffee so I can go poop. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Every morning. <laughs> yeah, that's tea. I was going to say I read something recently about people who poop first thing in the morning or poop a lot that you can have anxiety poops and now I'm anxious that my morning poops are anxiety poops. I'm not a very anxious person. You might just be regular. I'm just just regular. You're just regular. (laughs) Just a normal girly. (laughs) All right, our next question is, what's one thing, again, pick one thing. What's (laughs) one thing people don't know about you? Um, I don't think that podcast listeners know, but I love ASMR and I listen to it every night. Every night. Really? Mm-hmm. I knew you liked ASMR. I didn't know you listened to it every night. Every night. What's like your go-to? Like what's like the 
like title. I like role plays. I like when they put makeup when they put makeup on me or like skincare or hair hair washing. Ugh, love. It's probably because I don't. You have get no that. hair. That's why I like it. I'm like, oh yes. And when they brush it, I love getting your hair brushed. Getting my hair brushed is her favorite ASMR. You guys, well, because you you can't get that satisfaction. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What's the salad one you made me watch one time when we slept? Oh over my gosh. Sears? She yes. goes, Can you put on ASMR? I said, Do you have anything in mind you want to go to bed? We're in the bed. And yeah. she and she puts on she's like, Can you put on a teacher eating a salad? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like you know those teachers that eat salads, but they like while they're having lunch while they're talking to you. So it's like them eating salad and they're like, Oh, they're like, mm-hmm, um, Johnny, you need to sit down. hmm And they're eating it's and like crunchy mm-hmm. sounds. Yeah. And like crunchy. And then they start typing. Yes, yes. And they're flipping through papers and like grading. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Big fan. One thing people don't know about I honestly feel like I'm such an open book that there's a lot mm-hmm. that the internet knows about me, but there's also so much stuff that I do keep private I am like a huge history buff if you go through my like YouTube history (laughs) most of it is like hour two hour three hour video essays on like obscure history topics really I did not know that about you Sierra like when I went to Boston with Steven I wanted to know more about Boston history so I looked up I found like a lecture that a professor professor had posted that was like three hours on like the history of Boston and I just I (laughs) had like an hour by myself when Steven and Grace went back to the Airbnb just walked around Boston with my AirPods in listening to like some professor talk about Boston. Wow. I'm really into history. That is okay. Awesome. No, but honestly, I love that because mm-hmm. we should know more and I am stupid. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's so great. Because for me, I, I I don't think I would even think to, oh, let me learn about right, the history. And that's right. so awesome that you seek it out. And that's why you're so much more knowledgeable about fucking everything. No, right. Sorry for oh. the F word, but no, you know but everything. Like, you do. You, I don't know. She's, she's so knowledgeable. She's yeah. smart. Steven Woman. trolls me for it because I go to bed <laughs> listening to podcasts. And a lot of the times they're like history podcasts. And so he'll like wake up in the middle of the night and he'll hear just someone talking about like, I don't know. Like World War Two, right? <laughs> and like the most boring voice, right? It's like very monotone. Yes, back in World War Two, and then in nineteen thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he's just like, "This is what you want to listen to." You Sierra, to Sierra, and my grandfather have the same. We right. do <laughs> have that in common. <laughs> Sierra's a grandma. I am. <laughs> have you ever watched Puppet History? A little bit. Mm, I a feel like bit. I feel like you would enjoy that. Wait, you would love you? Do you watch Drunk History? I don't. What? Why, I say, Sierra? Is it not enough it's, it's, history? It's too like comedic. Yes, I, I really she wants want facts. boring. She wants a literal <laughs> give, professor. Give me a literal professor droning on in front of a whiteboard. You would rather that? I know. I'm s- then like Lin Manuel getting drunk and talking about. Right. Like, yeah, that's too much entertainment. I don't want entertainment history. I just want. The she wants <laughs> education oh and she wants entertainment separate. Right. Yes, okay. That's it. That's okay. It. Well, that's fair. Good yeah. to know. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> One thing people don't know about me, I think something that I want to share that <laughs> very important. I am obsessed with dogs, but highly allergic. Mm. And that is something that is like really part about me because I love putting my face in dogs' faces, <laughs> you know, all up in the grill. I just want to love them. Right. But I'm so allergic. So I don't know if you guys know that about me. It's sad. But, Tragic. But true. It is. Cue the TikTok of P in this exact costume before the shoot, <laughs> cuddling Bella. In the dog's face. Oh, no. Yeah, in the dog's face. Say Zyrtec sponsor the pod. Yes. yes. Right. Zyrtec is who should actually sponsor because got to take one all the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Our next question. What are three things you cannot live without? No more than three, no less, but three things. Okay. So here's my thing with questions like this. I feel like you can either go like practical, like this right. makeup thing or this, this, or you have to be like my family. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like people, there was a Vogue 73 questions thing that went viral on TikTok where it was like, What's one thing you can't live without? And Selena Gomez said, my family. And then they cut to Kim Kardashian. And she's like, my KKW contour. Right? <laughs> I love that. But also, right. Right. So how are we answering this? If it's going to be general, I'm just going to say live, laugh, love. And then <laughs> move on. <laughs> live, I love that. Living, let's, laughing, and loving. Let's give living, actual stuff. Like, let's do the Kim K version. Okay. <laughs> no, okay yeah. we're, we're not Selena gomez this. Yes, like, sorry. Yes, obviously. Obviously, obviously yeah. our family. Oh, wow. And Grace. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> The first thing that comes to my head, and it's really, I guess I'm addicted, but caffeine, my coffee, mm. I really just, that's it. Yeah. what That's one of the things. Another thing, my Carmex chapstick, like Vaseline, Dude. like I have to have my uh, yep, lips moisturized say. and it's so cold right now. that Especially I, this time of year. Yeah, I got it. I'm going to get one with a keychain on it actually so I can put it like on my lanyard mm. and it's I've seen some cute stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Innovative. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Paloma, what's your winter drink? Because we know you're a PSL girly. But for, for winter. 
Um, you know what? I'm actually looking for recommendations. Are are we talking Starbucks? Because of I course, <laughs> yeah, right? Of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking for some great uh, recommendations because I usually do like the gingerbread latte, but I feel like that's just so like typical. You know, you just do get you that. like I'm, peppermint? I do because the peppermint mocha. Yeah, I was gonna say peppermint mocha. That's yeah. pretty like holiday in a cup, huh? And you yeah. can do hot or iced. Mm. I'm gonna do that. All right. Yeah. I haven't gotten my first holiday drink, which, by the way, is pretty Ooh. big. You know, got to get the red cup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. No. Right. The Christmas everyone cup. takes pictures of their first Starbucks yeah. cup. Do you yeah. remember like five years ago when everyone freaked out about the red cups? Yes. Yes. They're like, "Where's that Christmas on that cup?" Right. Why they're like, "You're Christmas taking red? Christmas away." Yeah. It's like everyone just relax. It's out red. You're gonna throw up. this. And you're gonna throw it away. Yeah. You're, it's going in the trash. <laughs> relax. Okay. My three things. Um, I think. This is so lame. Google Docs. I do everything on Google Docs. I think that's fair. Google Docs rules my life. Two, that uh, Youth to the People moisturizer mm-hmm. I use day and night. And uh, three, I'm going to go Fabletics bike shorts. Mm. I Just my bread and butter. No, mm-hmm. right. Right. She said bury me in those bike shorts. I, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine are easy. Honestly, it's Korean noodles. Mm. I can't actually live without that. Um, chapstick as well. Like they're everywhere, simply everywhere in every bag that I own. And then I think, and this is so lame, but it's my phone. I I need it. I need it. Mm-hmm. And call me addicted if you want. That's the tea. I can't. No right. Because I, 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 I it has everything I need. Specifically YouTube. I think I actually have an addiction to YouTube. I love it. I love you. People I, say YouTube's dying. Not I, for me. Not for no. me. <laughs> it is alive and it well. It is thriving. Yes. It is. I love it. <laughs> Which I think I forgot my third one. As you go, oh. I was like, I was like, what was my third one? But oh. Oh. but you made me think of it, and I cannot even believe I did not start with this. And this is so bad on me. Hot sauce. My oh my Valentine. god! Right. I actually would drop dead. I so <laughs> before before my Singapore trip, I bought like mini miniature mm. packets so I could pack on my bag. So I when I travel, like I have hot sauce in my bag. Like right. Cheetah Girls, that girl with the uh-huh. she whips yep. up the Cholula Aqua. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. I have a key. I have a keychain sriracha. I right. have. Ho- I love love hot sauce. I can't live with. I, can, I actually just, can't believe you forgot that. Yeah, that's actually really crazy. I'm taken aback. No, right. She <laughs> well, forgot. and you need your chapstick after you have the hot sauce. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. All right. The next question. A little. A little less pressure. <laughs> um. It is window or aisle seat. You're on a plane. Mm. You're on a train. You're on a goat. You're on a boat. You're on something. <laughs> Automobile. Are you a window or an aisle seat? So this is where Steven and I make a great pair because he's a window seat and I'm an aisle seat. Mm. Mm. I drink so much water. I am getting up to pee all the time. If I have a window seat, like I, I'm, I don't want to like bother everyone. Right. Getting up when I'm an aisle seat, I'm not bothering anyone. I can just get up, mm-hmm. go to the bathroom, done. I'm with Sierra on that one. I do aisle strictly because I. L- listen, this pee does a lot of pee. <laughs> I, I have the teeniest little bladder, and it's. I think we're taking off, and I'm still like, oh my gosh, when are they going to turn on the sign so I can get up and pee? Yep. So I have to do aisle window. <laughs> window's best for sleeping. Mm-hmm. I like the window because I feel farthest from people. Like, I don't want to mm. be in the aisle because I don't want to feel people walking back and forth next yeah. to me. I hate that. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to see you. I don't want to touch you. I don't want you anywhere near me. Window seat. Like, if we were traveling, the three of us, I would feel comfortable being like, Sierra, I got to wake wake up. I got to pee. But I hate doing that to strangers. For sure. So, 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 I don't pee on the plane. Must be she nice. She gets the window. Yeah, you get the so window. I get the window. Yeah. The the thing though with Stephen having the window is I gotta get that shot of the sky when we're taking right. off. Right, right. So then I'm like Stephen, or I'm just like oh. just reaching or like just move back. Yep, totally. Yeah. Also, and I was gonna say also the window shot is like yeah, chef's yep. kiss. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite time of day? After five. Really? Mm-hmm. That's so funny. Mine's lunchtime. Mm. I like like a late morning. Like a 10 or 11. Like you've just gotten ready. You're feeling good. The caffeine is hit. That's also like Grace's best time of day. Like that's when she's Mm. in the best mood. So Mm -hmm. that's usually when we like go do something. Mm. It's like before her nap. But like after we've had breakfast. Right. See after five is like after work. Then I can do whatever I want. I have no no, rules and I can just vibe. I know. But you said that like and the first thing I thought was like it's so dark now. Well now. Yeah that's true. I I hate that. Like no. That's true. There's a part of me that like likes it but hates it. Because then I can just hop into bed. In summer it's like the sun is literally out until 9 p.m. Yeah. So I guess it's just yeah right now it's not the best because it's literally dark outside. Mm -hmm. But like the rest of the year after five. See I feel like I used to like that before motherhood. But Mm. I feel like 5 p.m. is the part of the day where I start wrestling with myself where I start being like okay, how long till bedtime? I'm getting drained. And then I start being like, why do I want to rush bedtime? I should enjoy this time with Mm -hmm. Grace. But it's like that like start time of the day where time is going slow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I totally get that. Well, I'm kidless. So I said (laughs) five o'clock for the drink. Pour me a drink. It's five o'clock. I can start. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) 
See, my new five o'clock is now seven o'clock because that's ah, Grace's bedtime. Okay, right. So that's like Grace is asleep, pour a glass of wine. I'm going to watch Survivor. Right. right. Yeah. Do some history. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when are you the most inspired? I think when we're doing brainstorming sessions. When we mm. sit down and it's just like, we don't have a specific like, okay, we have to plan out these logistics. It's just like big picture things. Mm. Like we have a meeting set up to just dream. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think mine is at a really inconvenient time and it's at like two or three in the morning. Mm. Same. Yeah. I was just going to say when I'm laying in bed and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh shit, and I'll quickly get my notes out. Yep. I'm like trying to fall asleep. Yep. And all the ideas are, I'm like, Girl, why? skip the skip the notes app, voice memo. Oh. And then you don't have to look at the screen. You don't have to type. Just You just talk it. Wait, that was actually what I did that one time. Remember when I, <laughs> during the podcast, I was, I didn't oh, want to forget. With so. the, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I was like, Sierra, Ryan, I just want to tell you. Guys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's literally in the morning. You? Same. I was the same. Yeah. Yeah. In the middle. Yeah. In the middle of the night. You wake up. Oh my I, God. I do. I will wake up at around three and then that's when like ideas are coming to me. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I hate that. What's the priciest thing you've ever splurged on? Be honest. I think our stroller. Mm. Uh, we got a very really? expensive stroller. We hemmed and hawed. Is it worth it? Is it not? Mm. We talked to like all our parent friends and I like, I'm like the splurge was worth it. I'm obsessed with our stroller. Up a baby Vista V2. If you know, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Write that one down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know. I'm trying to think. I spend a lot of money, but what do I spend it on? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, one time I was going to New York for my birthday and I spent so much money on so much clothes because I was turning 25 and I was like, I'm going off, like off, off. It was too much money. And I only wore like, four of the outfits, but I definitely brought and spent a lot on like 15 outfits. So <laughs> that was a lot. But the four that you did wear Iconic. looked great. Thank you so much. <laughs> I don't think it's the priciest thing I've ever splurged on, but I just remember this purchase because I was on the younger side and I was like, holy mm. shit, I've never spent almost like this amount of money. It was getting Coachella tickets. They oh. were like, re they were resale. And at that, I, I remember being like, oh boy, that's a couple of zeros. But like, right. it was the it was when I was younger and I was like, I have to go. I'm going to drop it. I don't care. Right. Spend the money. Yeah. <laughs> So right. she went, she got her butt. She put, she spent her rent money on Coachella tickets. Right, right. <laughs> oh, my Justin Bieber tickets were expensive. I remember mm, that. Mm. They were those. But Taylor like, Swift tickets, which I did <gasps> secure. Oh, I got them know. I got the T Swift tickets opening night. Sierra. Sierra. That is iconic. Paramore. Yes. Dude, it's oh going to be crazy. God. The crowd. They're going to be oh. crazy. The way I was like panicking, it took like an hour to get the tickets. We mm. just kept refreshing and then tickets would show up. We'd click and it would say like, sorry, they're gone. And we just kept trying, 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 trying. Stephen and I were like pushing each other in front of the computer. <laughs> Jess was here. She was sitting at the table with Kenzie and Stephen and I were like, ah! Oh we my. got him. I was thoroughly dissociating. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have like so much anxiety like just doing that clicking? Like that That would have stress. And it was like a yeah. long drawn out process too. It wasn't like five minutes and then it was done. It was like 30, 45 minutes of like just click, click, refresh, refresh. Oh God. Oh gosh. But you got him. We yeah. got him. <laughs> What did you want to do with your life at age 12? Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Broadway. Broadway. Yeah. That was when I had grown out of the, I'm going to be a geologist. And I was like, I'm going to go to Broadway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was not yet old enough to be like disillusioned. Yeah. With what that would mean. It was yeah. just full stars in the eyes. <laughs> oh, for sure. Broadway. Just baby. what do you want to do? Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> just Broadway. Yep. Broadway. You too. <laughs> yeah. Not all of us on Broadway. I love that. Mm -hmm. that that's a sign. That we should go to Broadway. All right, ladies, we're already in uniform. Let's go quickly. Yeah, quick, no. Five, six, seven, eight. The Rockets. We'll just do the Jingle Bell Rock dance like 30 times in a row. Yeah. Just over and over. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. With me doing the Gretchen Wieners monologue as intermission. Uh, yes. That's it. Yes. I cannot believe you know every single word. That, that. Is, really that is so impressive. I do love that. And I love that you like performed that. I can't believe I like remember it because it's been years. It's iconic like though. It's a great model. It is. <laughs> what makes you feel the most like yourself? Honestly, this is so uh, sappy. But when I'm around P. Oh, that was so sweet. Yeah. Aww. I do see I like I the <laughs> first time I saw you and P together, I feel like I saw a different version of you. Oh, yeah. am, am I your uh, support animal? Yeah. <laughs> emotional support animal. Emotional support animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kinda. You're on a flight. P's laying at your feet. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm stressed over the turbulence. Not even her. Right, right. <laughs> She's calming me down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm so cute. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I I was gonna say. Well, you know what? 
I do feel the most myself when I'm honestly just like here, yeah. like yeah. right now Shoddy. in this right now in this room in a costume and mm. just like a little bit of makeup and just feeling the camera and the lights are on me here, just doing yeah. our thing. I think one of the first big green flags for me with this podcast was. I remember saying to you guys, like, there's only a handful of people in my life who I feel fully relaxed with where I feel like you don't have to, like, force conversation mm. or, you know, I'm not thinking about actively, like, okay, I got to ask a question. I got to do this and that. Like, mm-hmm. you're just fully relaxed, fully yourself. You're comfortable in the silence. And it usually takes me years to get to that point. Mm-hmm. And very wow. instantly I was that way with you. And that was one of the first green flags that, like, this is a good thing to do together. Wow. Aww, I didn't know that either. Yeah, I didn't know that's that. so sweet. Are you is it because like you just don't feel like comfortable or like you just are concerned about what you're saying? I think I maybe it's theater, maybe it's like mm. just this kind of pressure that I put on myself, but I feel like I have to be on. Perform, mm. yeah. Yeah. And whether it's being on camera or on stage or just feeling like I need to entertain people, mm-hmm. I I feel this need to be on and I I have maybe five or ten friends and then my immediate family who I don't feel like I have to be on mm-hmm. with. And sometimes if I'm naturally in that mood, I am. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'm not. And I'm just yeah. quiet and chill. Mm-hmm. And um, you guys, I very much feel like I don't have to be on. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. feel the pressure. I feel the same. I feel the same way. But I do like that you mentioned the 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 feel the you feel like you need to be on because I totally yeah. totally resonate with that. I. Feel like like you're perform you're on it's yeah can't let's go <laughs> like, oh we're, we're going somewhere oh let me <clears throat> hey everyone <laughs> right look at yeah like is that what they talk like when you're masking you know yes like, that's, 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 yeah that's, that's your your what you're trying to present mm-hmm. to be on you mm-hmm. know and and I can't even tell you what it is that makes me feel like I don't have to be on it's something like innate like mm. I couldn't put my finger on it I couldn't explain it I couldn't. I, I, there's no words for it. It's just a feeling that my body naturally responds to that like it's a comfort. Like mm-hmm. you can like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, exhale. And I felt that way too um, when I first met my friend Carrie, Carrie mm-hmm. Dayton. Yeah. We met for the first time when she was coming to visit me. Like we had talked online and then like she got on a plane and like came to visit oh me God. and it was like, that could have gone so bad. But totally. like yeah. this, after 10 minutes talking in the car, I felt myself go, <sighs> <sighs> yeah. And it's just that like, oh, we're, I don't have to be on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a very comfortable feeling. Yeah. Agreed. Well, I love, love that. that ladies. Ugh. And I love that we also can all resonate with that. Yeah. 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 And I, I do. That probably has a lot to do with theater. And also I think with our personalities, like growing up, right? You got to like, oh, so-and-so's coming over. Okay. Or even like be on your best behavior type can yeah. like get you to act that and way. And I also feel like people do expect me to be on, like even my like sidebar, like even my family will be like, yeah. oh, Paloma, you come. And I'm like, oh no, you guys just go there. Come on, but you're so entertaining. We want entertainment. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like oh. They, they expect me to entertain them, which that's fine. I'm a, I'm a clown, but <laughs> right. <laughs> but sometimes I'm not trying to be like, blah, 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 blah. so it's yeah. tough when they're like, oh, Go on. Come, go on. Give yeah. it. They're like, they're like, Paloma. Oh my gosh. But then that's when people go, what's wrong? Paloma, yeah. what's wrong? Yeah. Why are you so quiet? I'm like, oh, I'm simply just trying to like I'm just recharge vibing. myself. But there, some people are used to me just always being like on, on, on. Yeah. So. And that's what's nice when you have friends where you don't feel like you have to recharge after because you're not drained. Mm-hmm. You are recharging as you're with them. Right. You're not on. Amen, yeah. sister. And cheers to that. Cheers, cheers to yes. that. We always try to cheers. With our <laughs> cute little mugs. Gives. I know. <laughs> All right. Heels, flats, or sneakers? Sneakers. 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 All day. I used to pretend that I liked heels. <laughs> Done pretending. <laughs> I like them now, but I sneakers all day, forever. Mm-hmm. What makes you smile the most? My baby. Aww. Okay, for this answer, I want to say Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> she got you on the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on this one. I love that. Um, thank you. I oh god. I thought you were gonna say Family Guy. I thought you were gonna Ooh. say Grace. <laughs> Grace. I'm like Grace. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, Family Guy. Because that's Dad. like your comfort. Yeah, show. yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's something you're tired of? Racism. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Sexism. That's a freaking loot lead to both of those. Yep. Can I just say re- retweet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Retweet honestly, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I'll just add to the trifecta: homophobia. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Period. Tired Racism, sexism, homophobia. Come on, it's 2022. We're done, you guys. Look We're alive. Like, get We've it together. It's years. embarrassing. It's yeah. embarrassing to be homophobic, racist, or obsessive. Like, I know. I'm like, I was is around that it? someone last week who said something homophobic, and I was like, just, I was like, genuinely caught off guard. Like, I was like, I couldn't even. It's like crazy to hear. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, 
Uh, what? You guys are doing We're that? We're still saying that? We're still doing yeah. that? Like, mm. why would you even... Ugh. Get with the times, girl. Yeah. Tired of it. Next. Yeah, next. <laughs> What's something you notice about someone when you first meet them? Their smile. Mm. Like, that's the first thing. I'm looking at your mouth. Right. I, I love teeth. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honestly, the way that they look at me. Mm. I feel like that says a lot. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I can tell by the way that they react to me. <clears throat> right. How... I don't know how they're judging me. I, I, right. That says a lot. Maybe I'm doing that self, like subconsciously. subconsciously like I didn't even yeah. know that I'm like watching the social cues to see. Right. What, yeah, you're right. That's a good one, Sierra. That is a good one. I feel like I notice how you speak to the other people around me like first. Yes. Like you might be there and I might get there and I'm watching how you are interacting with other people. Mm. Also, I think how they speak about others. Yes. Mm. Oh right? my God, yeah. So important. Yes. Mm. Like I'm not above gossip. But like if no. I when I first meet you, if like, you're you should low key be on your be best on your behavior. Best behavior. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like we're here to like not impress, like show off, but like, hey, like let me put my best foot forward to show that I'm like doing what I gotta do. Yeah, it's very off putting when you first meet someone and the first thing they do is like start talking shit about someone else. You're yeah, like, oh. I'm like, oh, so that's what we're doing. Yeah. You don't even know me. Yeah, yeah. Like you're you're talking shit to somebody you do not know. Like I could go and exactly tell red them. flag. Like that's crazy. That's which is scary because I'm like, as soon as I leave, you are talking shit simply yeah. about me. Absolutely, I'm walking yes. out this room and you're like, can you believe? Yeah, 100. Mm-hmm. percent Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas, Halloween. Halloween. Well, Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <Halloween-a. laughs> it's, it's the truth. Yeah. Oh my God. That reminded me. We didn't talk about this, but at Friendsgiving, we were playing King's oh Cup God, and someone yes. set the rule that you can't call anyone by their actual name. So everyone was just calling P Halloween. And I'm I like, loved it. <laughs> it was fantastic. I was living. And didn't you have to drink that cup too? Yes. I Not only was I co- being called Halloween, I ended up losing and had to yeah. drink the, like, the, the wine. The King's Cup, yeah. <laughs> well, and and was- you know what the best part was? It wasn't one of us who said it. You know who it was? Our who nanny. Was- oh my God, it was. <laughs> oh my God, it totally was. And then was. she goes, I, yeah, I watched the podcast. Yeah, and we were like, <laughs> what a fan. You're so <laughs> right. That's so funny. It's the fact that the nanny's calling me Halloween, you guys. This has gotten out of hand. Dude, it's everybody. <laughs> I don't want to say her name to like put her on blast on the podcast, but we'll, we'll give a fake name. So hi, uh, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest weakness? Have you guys had to answer this in like job interviews? Yeah. yeah. Uh, every report card I ever had said talks too much. Yep. <laughs> me too. Yeah. yeah, me too. Talks they, too much. Yeah, the teacher would actually, I remember, had to do like a chart and put me somewhere so yep. I didn't have people around me. But it didn't work. I no, no it didn't I'll work. I'll talk to I'll just shout over the, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was, it definitely talks too much and sometimes it, attitude. I'm also very aware of like the talks too much thing on the podcast. Like I'm, mm. I'm constantly worried that I'm, I'm speaking too much. I don't want to speak over you guys. And I do think it helps that you guys are also very talkative people. So I'm like, okay, we're, we're okay here. <laughs> right, right, right. This Sierra, is safe space. Um, Sierra, I also have that entire monologue running through my head. I'm like, Paloma, shut up. You're talking too much. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> so yeah. it's so funny that we are all, the three of us here going, hey, let's not talk over each other. Let's not talk too much. But And then it ends up us being like, <laughs> are you going to go? But that's oh, the thing, go. right? We don't all want to just sit here and be like, yeah. right? Like, I don't want to. Are you gonna go? Or like, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. But that's respectful that we don't want to uh, exactly talk over, talk each, over other, each other, which I just did. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, Carrie and I, since we are, I already mentioned Carrie in a previous question. She asked me after we hung out. She goes, "Oh man, I'm like so in my head that I just like talked the whole time. I like talked about myself." And I said, "You know what, Carrie? Let's make a pact right now. I am gonna tell you if you're talking too much." Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm probably never going to because I'm never going to think that. But then, you know, you right. never have to wonder. Mm. So I will tell you. And then just a couple of weeks ago, we were hanging out and she goes, did I? Nope. You would tell me. You would tell me. I'm I like, li- yep, exactly. I really like that. Can Let's we make bring a pass? Here. Here. Say, okay, yes. okay, ladies. Yes. So we'll just say it. We will just say it. We'll like, just hey, girl. Work. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, reel it in. Hi. Hey, babes. Reel it in. <laughs> that, that'll be the code word. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Yep. I like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> and, and not just here on the podcast. Even everywhere. Everywhere. Life. Yes, yes in please. Life. I like it. <laughs> yes. What's a must-have clothing item everyone should own, in your opinion? Oversized hoodie. Mm. An easy t-shirt dress. Like when you don't mm. know anything to wear and you just throw yeah, it on. Yeah, that's a good one. I used to hate dresses until I realized that a dress is basically an oversized t-shirt. Yep. It doesn't have to be like an actual like m- moment. No. Yeah. And you don't have to wear pants. Right. It's like wearing a sleep shirt. Right. But I- it's just perceived as fancy right i'm having a blame brain blast moment right now i'm like you're so damn right it's just longer it's just a shirt like i wore a nice dress on thanksgiving Crazy. and i'm sure it was like oh 
you're dressed up. No, right. your dress was stunning. I actually oh. wanted to ask you where you got it from. Made well. It's beautiful. Uh, it was beautiful. It is cute. so cute. But in reality, I didn't have anything pushing on my stomach after Thanksgiving dinner. Right. I could just fully lay out mm-hmm. and not, I'm not wearing pants. I'm a big, like, I just want to lay out type of vibe. So I think that my must have clothing item would have to be like some sort of like biker shorts for underneath. And that's why I actually like mm. this outfit that we have that's from Holara. Oh, it has the built in shorts. I love built in shorts. Yeah. Love yes. it. Yep. Except when you have to pee. Let's yep. talk about that. And there I was <laughs> with my titties out. <laughs> titties out looking like a naked mole rat. <laughs> Which you, okay. To be honest, that's always been like a fear of mine. Just like being on the toilet, just like nu- like nudity. Somebody, somebody opening the, the door. door. Yes. Well, that's, let me tell you the dang story. My fear actually did come true. No. So I was at a Pizza Nova. Took a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Pizza Nova. I ha- I'm like, okay, going to go to the bathroom real quick before we leave. Take off my romper, do the whole thing. I'm there. I am naked mole rat. And then all of a sudden, this little girl pops her head underneath the stall and goes, Mom, oh, oh, you're not my mom. And she left. I was like, oh, she was like six or so. Right, at the right. Pizza Nova. At the Pizza Titties Nova. Titties out at the Pizza Nova. Titties <laughs> out. Not even like a strapless bra. Like no. this oh. child. Straight boob. She, and she was taken aback because she's like, you're not my mom. I was and like, you're naked. I was like, mom. no, I'm not. And you're naked. I come out and my mom's like, what is, I'm like, I, we need, to we need to go quickly. <laughs> I can never be seen at a Pizza Nova again. No, right. That is so funny. Tragic. So I'm sorry to that child. <laughs> no, right. Scarred. She well, told- she, you know what though? She'll never look under a thing again. Yeah, she, that probably she taught be doing. her. I, yeah, I think she learned her little lesson yeah. from that. <laughs> or maybe now she's going to be checking under I every know, Maybe stall. she's like, who has their giddies out? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, what is going on in these ba- public bathrooms? <laughs> What's one thing you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do? This is way too introspective, but it's like to tr- fully trust mm. or fully love, fully. Mm. I'm always like, yes, like 90, and I have this 10% that I'm not giving. You're holding it back. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Why do you think that is? I ha- don't have a great track record with the people around me that claim to love me. It's like self preservation. Because mm-hmm. if you don't give all of it, even if they break that 90%, you're still holding on to have, 10. Mm-hmm. That was like so no. much more dramatic than I needed to be, but that's what I thought of. Well, that is really hard because loving is like trusting and you're yeah. giving your heart. And if people break it, I'm going to learn my lesson. Every, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. can't give it to you. Dramatic. Anyways, but, but, I'm working on no, it. It's real. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah. I am. I really have wanted to try, but I'm afraid to try like an adult dance class. I, as like an actor, I was always a singer actor who could like kind of fake it through the dance portions. Mm -hmm. Like a mover. Yeah, I I was a mover. Strong mover. Strong Strong mover. mover. Put that shit on your resume. (laughs) (laughs) I have it. And when I was in college, I started doing more dance to try to like buff up my resume. And I was like just doing some community dance classes and dance classes at my college. And then I went to like a, like a more legit class and um, it was more flexibility based and I'm really unflexible. Mm. And the instructor was really mean and I left during the water break and I've never gone back to a dance class after that. Oh. Like never. I know. And that was like six years ago. I'm so upset about that. instructor. Wait, no, no, no. I have. I have. I went to like a fitness dance class, but that, and I do like Zumba and stuff, but it, it's different. Yeah, that's different. Because you're not in the learning. title. Yeah, it doesn't, yes. it doesn't feel like because usually when you're like, oh, I'm here to like get a good workout, feel good. blah, blah, yes. blah. Like, And one is like, I'm, I'm learning here to perform. Dance. Like yeah. exactly. the intention is to perfect the dance. So yeah. I can see the pressure. of that Like I sure. haven't done like a we're crossing the floor doing batmas since that. Yeah. Oh and that was when I was 19. So well, seven years. I'm trying to get back into I dance was, classes. We so. have been talking about like we need to find a dance class. We want to get into it. You and could maybe feel, yeah as a group and we could all go. I would I would feel so much more comfortable doing it with you guys. Maybe we should. Maybe we we absolutely should. should because you oh. know what? As you're saying that, maybe there's a part of me that feels that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, and that's maybe why I keep saying I need to take a dance class. I need to take a dance class. But to actually go and you know, yeah. and it's felt different. Like in theater, when like you're with your company, you're like rehearsing for a show. But going to a dance class specifically, that's yeah. Something, and I just pick choreo up so slowly that I'm so. Yeah. insecure so I feel you let's do it let's, let's do, do it. it yeah we oh should oh my god I love that ah. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, I'm honestly trying to think of what's something that I have always wanted to do but I'm too scared of the way and I can't think of anything right now because I think that I always try to say just fuck it, fuck it and do it for the mm. plot so yeah. I, I always that's I something that. that I just I don't care even if it doesn't go well, well or anything yeah. like that it's 
fuck it. And yeah. I used to not be like that. So now I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'll just do it. I, yeah. and, and if I view myself as a learner, I, I just, I, I don't know anything. If I go in saying I don't know anything, I'm just here to learn. What's 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 gonna go wrong? So I, I love that. So yeah, do okay, it for the plot. Period. Do it for the plot. And now it's do it for the pod because now you can come <laughs> back. <laughs> like now, and now you can tell us on the pod. What and now you're doing. vlogging. Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. I like that. Remember, do it for the vine. <laughs> do it for the vine. <laughs> do it for the vine. Oh, uh, TBT. Uh, vine. Do you think Vine is like now our new TikTok? Like that's what it would be considered. Like, totally. I heard that Vine was coming back, and I was like, we don't need it. We don't need it. We have TikTok. Like I totally like yes, love Vine and like forever in my thoughts and prayers, but like. We Listen, don't, it's not necessary. Let's just let it be what it was. Yeah. And we can move on. But yeah. what if TikTok really goes in that direction of static photos now that they allow that you can just upload static? And because like Insta Instagram? Instagram won't give it to us. So TikTok's like, all right, you guys can upload pictures. I said, wait a minute. How do you guys feel about TikTok. Instagram having music now? Like on your, like, sto like on a photo? I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, I neither. haven't done it yet because I assume that most people that are on Instagram like listen to a lot of things without sound. So I yeah. just haven't. I just want one on my profile. It like, also on doesn't give. Like I've seen, I've looked at the photos with the pictures and I'm like, okay, it doesn't enhance it. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. It just is a song. But maybe if I was like posting us, like a photo of us in this, I would put like Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. Uh, okay. Uh, so then it's adding. Mm -hmm. Okay, then mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. I guess I could see it in that way. Yeah. But on a picture of like, Listen, I just want a one year set. I don't know what we need to have in the background. Here comes the song. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, right. I just want it when you click on my profile and you're scrolling through my yeah. pictures. I just want to put a bop like you my space. Yes, yes, exactly. Like, this is my vibe. This is the song. This is my profile. Like, that's what I want to get. Which makes sense because when you show up to a profile, you're like, okay, let's set the vibe. Exactly. Like, yeah. And while they're like, even when you click on their other pictures, like, it still is going. I love that. I, I like that. I like that. Mark, get it. <laughs> Zuckerberg, get your life. <laughs> What's your favorite account to follow on social media? Oh. It could just be for a, like, right now, this is my favorite. Again, doesn't have to be, like, ultimate of all time. Um, I think the girl that I really like listening to and all this content, I know she's not new, but Teffy, I think that she's mm. hysterical. And even when she does ads, they don't feel like ads. She's like, listen, ladies, blah, blah, blah. Like, I yeah. love Teffy. All, I don't all know her. Content. her. She's good. Oh, she's my really gosh. Good. I love I her. She's from Miami. She's awesome. I, I will, I'll send the links. Yeah. I would say probably... Brittany Broski, I love her. She's a clown, and I just love. Um, and then Trixie and Katya, mm. love. Hysterical. And Drew, love Drew. Anytime Queen. I go on TikTok. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love her on TikTok. Yes. Oh my God, I didn't know who I was going to say, and then it came to me in a spark. <laughs> Mike's Mike. I am obsessed with, I follow him on every platform. Usually if I watch someone on YouTube, I really just watch them on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But he is so funny and clever and like quick-witted. I immediately upon watching his first like hour and a half long Pretty Little Liars video, followed him on Instagram, oh. TikTok, and he is just so funny. Mm -hmm. Mike's Mike, let's be friends. <laughs> I am obsessed with you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look into those. Yeah. Last piece of content you consumed that made you cry. Cry? Mm -hmm. I'm so lame. Me editing my own TikTok of Grace last night. Scream. I literally was crying because it was just, it was like her running on the beach and she like ran. I was just filming her because she was walking on the beach and it was a beautiful sunset. And then she like ran up to me and hugged me and I was like, ah! I'm dead. That's so Happy cute. tears. Yeah. Those Aww. are good happy tears. I think that the last piece of content, it was like recently this week during Thanksgiving where it was like, uh, they come home from the military, their army, and they surprise someone. That gets me every dang time. Like when they're home for Christmas or the holidays, I saw one on TikTok and I was just like, there I, there I go. The dog was like really, really excited to see this. Guy. Always the dog. God. The dogs. Honestly. And they cry. I don't know. And I hate to be like, I didn't. I don't. I don't know. I simply, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. No tears left to cry. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, okay. No. This was weeks ago. Actually, this might have been months at this point. <laughs> she doesn't cry. It's it, no. it's Sierra and I that are the, the yeah. waterworks. Over yeah. Here. <laughs> and months ago, I was watching um that show on Netflix, the uh, street food, and they always have some like sob story about their mm. life, and I was crying about that. But that was like weeks ago, maybe a month ago. But that yeah, Netflix street food, very good. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. If you were not living in San Diego or L.A., where would you be living? New York. New York. <laughs> yeah. Would I live in New York? No. <laughs> I don't see you in New York. I don't think so. I think, mm -hmm. and you know what? I, I think when I was younger, that was the vibe, like the busyness. But I now I can find myself, I'm like, I want somewhere quiet. I want to be where, somewhere where I can walk my dog quietly. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's because I'm in a busy silly city of LA and I'm just like now trying to get away from the people. I want more residential. Oh my God, am I getting older? Eee. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't care if the bars aren't so close to my house, like right outside my door. Um, so let me think. Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying because and I don't want to say like San Diego, but maybe San Diego because it's just so beautiful and my family's here and I see you in La Jolla. Ah, yeah. Mm. I see myself in La Jolla too, girl. Like yeah. beach vibes. But yeah. Still, yes. But still like giving like city, but not like the city. Yeah, Send me know? to La Jolla. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's cute. I love that. <laughs> What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? Not living in, traveling. Ooh, Bora Bora with the, I know that's not a city, but with the overwater bungalows. I don't know what city that resort is in, in Bora Bora. Right. But I that. want to go to there. <laughs> I want to go to there. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I think I want to go to like Mykonos, Greece. Honestly, any of the places. Oh, I don't yes. even care where Santorini, I don't care. Yeah. Any of them. Um, In in the States, I want to go to Miami. I, oh, I, I've I never been. Me, Me either. either. Oh, we should go to Miami. We should go to Miami. Yeah. Go party on a yacht. What's it like in Miami? It's like it's just like hot and party. Like, yeah, hot right? and party. Like to live in Florida, absolutely not. But to party there, why in my brain is Miami not in Florida? When you said in Florida, I was like, <laughs> no, we're going to Miami, not Florida, Paloma. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> that's like when uh, what were we talking about? Chicago. She was like Chicago, the state, and I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> Some no. cities have such a strong personality, it feels like they shouldn't be in a state. Florida and Miami. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Chicago, Illinois. Like, it's the same. No. Yeah. Like, what's Illinois? I was like, Chicago's Who's that? in Illinois. Oh, my God. I was like, yeah, you went there. And she was like, oh. Uh -huh. Easy. <laughs> a weird. Yeah. <laughs> Miami. Let's go to Miami, Let's go to Miami. You're good. What's something you always travel with? A neck pillow. I'm so freaking lame. Cue, like, like, cue every photo of me on a plane with an eye mask on, neck pillow on, just conked out. <laughs> Headphones. Especially since I don't have the window seat. I oh, T. You need support. the support. Yeah, headphones. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I honestly think probably like my water bottle. I am just get so mm. dehydrated on those dang planes. Like yeah. up in the air. I'm like. <gasps> right. Water. So yeah. Water. <laughs> SpongeBob. Yeah. Water. water. Yep. What is the most impactful piece of advice you've received? We talked about this before the podcast. Uh. Don't change yourself for people who are committed to misunderstanding you. Mm -hmm. Period. Yep. Oh, I have one. And I forgot it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little along the do it for the plot, but do do it for yourself anyways. Just who cares? That's the ba biggest piece of advice is just, Paloma, just do it for yourself. Mm. Forget everything else. Just mm -hmm. do it for the plot. Do it for yourself. Yeah. When people show you who they are, believe them. Mm, you love that one. I you love use that. that all the time. And when you said that, light bulb. Because they will tell you. People will always show you. Mm -hmm. But it's it's us that changes the narrative. When you love people. someone, you mm -hmm. try to change them. to. F you see the best. Yep, mm -hmm. you see the best. Yep. And sometimes you see the, what's that word? The potential. The potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that always gets you when you see the potential. And you're like, but you're like, but that person does not exist, babe. Yeah, you, you made that You ignore the reality to see the potential. Yep. And it's the potential you oneself see in the other. It's not even right. the potential they see in themselves. It's like, I or literally the, see Or it. the potential that they could even give. Like, yeah. you are literally making that up. Yeah, you're yeah. making what they could, yeah. Mm. That's crazy. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Save yourself, y'all. Delusion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Straight delusion. Extrovert or introvert? You got to pick one. I'm an extrovert. 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 Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> What's a superpower you wish you had? Okay, I always loved this question as a kid because I feel like it was very insightful. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think the the fun answer is fly. Like to fly. Right. Amazing. Or teleport to go anywhere in the world. But my real answer as like a sneaky little bitch. <laughs> Invisibility or mind reading. Mm. I want like mind reading. You would be a millionaire. You could go to a casino and read the mind of the dealer and know what the hand was. Oh, that's you would true. know what you could be a political leader because you would know what everyone wanted. Gosh, mm. but you know what? I would hurt my own feelings. For I was that. just about to <laughs> say that. True. My I would feelings hurt my would be own hurt feelings. Daily. Yeah, yeah. I don't, think I don't I need do to that. know. I think I would turn into a villain. Actually, mm. I show up. They're like, "Look at this loud bitch." I'm like, "All I'm right, like, I'm <laughs> out." <laughs> I know. I, I I was gonna say teleportation because then I could literally be wherever I want, whenever I wanted to be there. Especially someone who hates driving. Mine so, was mine was teleportation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no. no, imagine imagine just being able to teleport from LA to here. Hey Sierra, I'll be I'll be on the set in five minutes. Ding. Also, like I won't ever have to miss anyone ever. Yeah, yeah. Miss them, just, just poop. Yeah, I are. think I'm gonna go teleportation. Yeah, yeah. It's so practical. <laughs> it is practical. What's one thing that you had to learn the hard way? Everything. I'm yeah. hard headed. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like that trend on TikTok that's like, what did you learn the hard way that you can tell everyone so they can avoid it? Yeah. It's just such a sweet trend. I think the lesson that I had to learn the hard way uh, was not losing yourself in relationships. Oh, hey. Yep. And that is something that happens, I feel, probably to most people because when mm-hmm. you are in a relationship, there's that innate ability to become codependent and just like, whatever. Become one. Become one, yeah. us, whatever. And I heard before that, just pull on, my mom would always say, pull, and I'm so glad, thankful for my mother. She was always like, girl, you even when you're in a relationship, you need to still see your friends. You still need to do your hobbies. You still, And she was always that little voice in my head being like, oh, <clears throat> listen, your relationship's not like the end all, be all mm-hmm. type of vibe. And I like heard her. You can hear someone being like, yeah, of course I should keep doing this. I keep it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then- Long behold, yeah. you find yourself in a relationship and you're like, oh my gosh, I think I'm starting to put someone up in front of me too much and not for the... Or it ends and you're like, how did I get here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're just like, wait a minute. Yeah. And that was a lesson that I had to learn myself and I think I still carry it with me moving forward and with all relationships, I say always keep yourself and put yourself for... Like, of course, relationships, 50-50, sometimes 70-30, sometimes 90-10, it happens. Yeah. But... I want to make sure that I still have me at the end of the day, whatever that means, mm-hmm. still be. I don't know. I like don't mm-hmm. know how to ex- describe that. No, I, no, I, I, I understand. It, you completely. understand? Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Something similar. I think just like learning that even the people that love you the most don't always know what's best for you. Mm. And I think that's hard, especially like growing up. If you're like even younger, like 19, 20, 21, like you're still really young. But at that point, like you make can make decisions for yourself and not everybody who does love you and has your best interest at heart knows what's best for you. Yeah. No one knows what's best for you but yourself. But yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so true. I think so. Because, you know, like that's when you're like, listen to your heart. Like just listen, listen to, to your what heart, yeah. you. And really like want. if you mess up and you fuck around, like. That's life. That's, that's And you're going to do that whether somebody told you to do it or not. It has to happen. And so many times we spend our lives like, oh, don't do this. Do this. Like, And you, and you think that right. from talking to your girlfriends, you won't let it happen to or you. Or like your mom's like, I'm just trying to get to Tell something you. before, like something that happened to me. I don't want you to make the same mistake. And it's like, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be mine. Mm. And I'm going to make it because this is how life goes. And you don't learn until. You, you do, do it. it. Exactly. That is the only, and that's the tough part. You can tell someone all you want, like, hey, girl, I wouldn't da da da, mm-hmm. but then all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. What do you See? think, Sierra? This is a very practical one. I was going to go for more of like a, you know, theoretical thing, but I've been wanting to talk about this on the podcast, and I, I haven't talked about this at all online. Um, hard, very hard lesson, painful lesson I had to learn this year to not wait to go to the doctor for a UTI. Mm. Yes. I know this story. Yeah. This is a cautionary tale. Earlier this year, I started having symptoms of a UTI. I've had it before. You know, it was a Saturday when it started. So I thought, you know, no big deal. I'll take AZO. Monday will come around and I'll go to the doctor and get antibiotics. No big deal. I didn't want to go to urgent care, expose myself to all those germs, mm-hmm. wait, wait for four hours in the waiting room. Right. So I waited. And the pain went from just, oh, I've got some pain in my side burning when I pee to intense back pain and like almost feeling like I was going to pass out. So I went to the hospital. I'm in the waiting room. I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm, I'm managing it. And all of a sudden I start feeling my legs go numb and I start um like my vision is spotty and I almost can't talk. And it's the only time in my life I've genuinely thought I might die. Oh my God. And this is all just from a UTI, right? right. We, but your kidneys, girl. Yes, yeah. exactly. And so I, luckily – I was in the waiting room um, and I passed out (gasps) and the nurses ran over and hooked me up to an IV. They were measuring my blood pressure. Oh my God. Long story short, I went into early sepsis. Mm. What? Yeah. And I had to stay in the hospital overnight. Oh. And I had to have an IV and um, my blood pressure got, I forget if it was dangerously low or high that happens for that, but- my blood pressure was super whack from that. I felt the strangest I've ever felt was beyond just pain. And mm. it was like genuinely fear that I was dying. Mm-hmm. Oh and um, luckily I was there and they were able to fix it. And I was stayed in the hospital. I didn't want to talk about it online because obviously it was like it was genuinely traumatic. No, right. Like I I thought this might be it. Yeah. And it it could have been a lot worse if I wasn't already at the hospital. Um, and I learned my lesson 
don't wait to go get those antibiotics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just go. Just go. Just do it. Listen to your body. Yeah. Yeah. Let me be a cautionary tale because that was freaking scary. Yeah. And I will never wait again. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. Okay. I learned that lesson the hard no, way. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I'm, hard I, way. I, I feel gu- guilted because I too suffer from UTIs and I used to always get them. And I, that's why I feel like I should have been like, Sierra, get your butt to the, like, get yeah. yourself to the Well, to you the store. were. I, you know, mm-hmm. it was, it, it, it's so scary, but it's like, it's something like a UTI or like a cold or something that people yeah, get. Oh, and you're like, okay, it like, regular. it happens all the time and everyone gets it and it's just like, whatever. Yeah. I mean, but that shit will kill you. My doctor straight up, because that what happened, I didn't have the whole pass out or anything like that, but it, there was a point that I was at that point ble- bleeding blood and my doctor was like, mm. oh, th- I'm very glad you came in because obvi- we have to get you antibiotics or it can go to your kidneys and like all Jeez. this stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, I did not know that this was so, so, so deep. serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. And once it spreads to your kidneys, like it is, it, it happens quick. Yeah. God, oh my God. I'm- yeah. Do you feel like it's people who all menstruate? It's because you're used to having to like, Put your pain to the side and yeah. continue yeah. business as usual, like yeah, totally. monthly. Totally. I, I feel like all the pain that we feel in like the cervical region is just like, like and, and like daily. Yeah. Like it's just yeah. like I'm kind it of always happens. in pain. So I saw a TikTok where this girl was like telling her boyfriend, like, oh yeah, he was like, Are you aren't you not feeling well? And she's like, Yeah, but like I'm always kind of just like not doing well, but like it's whatever. And he was like so shocked that she was always in pain. I'm like, it's giving we all kind of live in our pain and we get used to it but that mm. doesn't mean that that is okay and that you should deal with it yeah. go to the doctor go to the go doctor. to the doctor yep oh. good lesson Sierra. yeah <laughs> truly art lesson yeah do you believe in second chances yes yes, yes. and third and fourth we're flawed humans. yeah and young yeah and, and young, young. Yeah. yeah a little lighter what's your favorite cocktail or beverage oh Okay, if I'm at like a full service bar, like a beach bar, like you're, there's not like a long line, a mojito. Mm. Right. But if I'm at a packed bar, I'm not going to be like, a mojito, and they're like crushing the mint. Right. right. So at, a, at like a bar bar, vodka soda splash of cream with mm. a wine. Love, love. Yeah, quickly, if I'm, I need a quick tequila soda, simply, or just whiskey on the rocks, like that's fine also. But if I'm like waiting... I'll give a little Mai Tai moment. Ooh. I love a little Mai Tai. But it's always like, what, in a packed bar, so I never have time for that. But if I did, <laughs> I'm Mai Tai. Yeah. yeah, I'm a big tequila and squirt or tequila and 7-Up. I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, so, like, yeah, soda. Yeah. Whatever. Anything with tequila. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drink it. What's your guilty pleasure? The Kardashians. Oh, that's a good Dude, one. Dude, when I was breastfeeding, I needed something to just be on in the middle of the night to, like, keep me awake, but I didn't need to really pay attention. So it was Kardashians or Modern Family. Mm. And that was it. Like, I don't... The Modern Family isn't a guilty pleasure. No, that's it's just, just a, like a good show. Yeah. Kardashians, I like, I'm, like, a little embarrassed. Right. I'm, like, I don't, I don't know. But also, like, everybody, like, everybody watches the Kardashians. At some point, whether it was then or now, like, I feel like... But we don't feel good about it. I know. And we don't. <laughs> we, we don't. We don't no, feel good about it, and we, we don't never, talk about it, even though well, everyone doing is doing it. Yeah. I think my guilty pleasure, which is like so cracked because whatever, but it is Trisha Paytas' ASMR. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. I have not checked it's, up on Trisha Paytas in I don't know three what she years. does. I don't know what she does in her personal life, and I simply do she not does care. ASMR? It's incredible. She's so talented. Oh my gosh. I hate it. I hate I hate that, but like I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's That's so, so good. So not what I was expecting. I know, but I, I love know. It. It's so good. What's your favorite? Does of she have hers? Like, yeah. I love, she does like a lot of role plays and I love when she does like Maddie from Euphoria. <laughs> and, or, or like when she's like, I'm the cheetah, like the hot Cheeto girl, like she'll be like crunching on her hot Cheetos and she'll be like, oh yeah, God. I love the hot Cheetos. Like it's so, it's so good. It's so, so good. good. It's so good. Her makeup always looks incredible. Like it's just good. Her personal life, I don't know. I think she might be canceled. I don't know. You're that like, doesn't matter to me. But the ASMR, it the gives. The Cheetos? It gives. I know. I, I saw you watching it and I was like, wait, I thought that she somebody canceled her or something I was, was like, mm. tragic with her or something. I don't know. She's got great ASMR though. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I think that, and I don't think that you guys will see it as a guilty pleasure because we are theater people, but I definitely can feel myself only listening to theater musicals and turn down like quietly oh. the soundtracks original things mm. like if i'm listening to like olivia rodrigo uh high school musical like i'm turning that shit down but i want to hear it i don't right. know right <laughs> you're embarrassed yeah a little oh 
Aw, don't be embarrassed. It's okay. Like I'm listening to Dear Evan Hansen. I will turn that shit out so well, yeah, low. Because if Girl go. Ryan hears it, she's like, ew, I hate that musical. <laughs> I do think it's so funny how the public opinion of Dear Evan Hansen has taken like a sharp turn. <laughs> yeah. Like when they were when it won the Tonys, it was like everyone, Dear Evan Hansen, like you could not say a bad thing about it, or people would jump on you. They did. And now everyone's like really looking at it. They're like, this is like not good. This, well, look at the plot. Look at the like like it never grabbed me mm. like it grabbed you. It I, grabbed me. It grabbed me by the soul. And let me tell you, I saw one of Ben Platt's final performances at, in Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway. Ugh. Literally, because, what the heck? What's something you admire in a friend? I think I really, maybe admire is the right word, but maybe more so like drawn to um, people who like actively seek to include others. Mm. I think that's like a big green flag and also something that I try to like actively do is to to make sure that there there aren't people who are on the fringes of the group who are like trying to get in or trying to get mm-hmm. a word in or trying to add in and just when you see someone who then actively pulls that person in right it's just like the warm fuzzies i'm like mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, I want to be that person mm-hmm. yeah i seek to be that person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i love that that's a good one that is such a good one yeah i think it's their ability to not make me feel that i'm being judged and maybe that is just my own thing that I shouldn't feel that. But I think that there's sometimes that there are friends that they accidentally make you feel bad about yourself. Like just, mm. you know, it just happens. And you're like, I'm, it doesn't really. So I really admire those people that really their wording and just how they are. Like kind of like, encourage you to be encur- yourself. Encourage. Yes. That's what it is. Because, mm. yeah, they encourage me to be myself and allow me to feel myself. Mm-hmm. Like, but that's... I, no, no, I, no, I totally yeah, feel that. Makes sense. Yes. <laughs> that's one of the things I love about you. <laughs> yeah, is- like you encourage the loudness. You encourage everyone to just like be silly and goofy and like have a good time. I that, And I always feel like I can just be an idiot around you because I know you're not like, girl, yeah, girl. calm down. Like, <laughs> right, yeah. And yeah. not only does that make me feel good and other people around you feel good, but that also makes it more fun for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's having a just good time. Just a judgment-free zone. I yeah. just love people who are just like, I'm just here for a yeah. good time. Yeah, good yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why we do so well because yeah. we're not here being like drama, drama, drama. I'm just like, babes, I'm just let's just support each other LOL. and root each other and make me yeah. and encourage me to be better. And I think we, all three of us do a great job of encouraging each other so much. No, yeah. I mean, every time I leave here, I'm like, I can do anything. And we talked about yeah. this before. <laughs> yeah. where I just How you feel empower like, us. Yes, Sierra. Yes. You as a friend, you mm-hmm. really empower your friends and you make yeah. us feel so seen. I yeah. feel seen by you. All the time. All the time. That's like the highest compliment to me. It's like, true. Thank you. It really is true because you, you, without it being like, oh my God, like you have so much potential or like, oh yeah, like you're so, it's not like, it doesn't feel. It's genuine. Like, yeah, backhanded. Yeah, it's like. That's what I mean about You that. could do, like, do it. And I'm like, right. Yeah. I can <laughs> do yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that you get, you're, you're just really encouraging. Oh, I know that that is not the question. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I don't lost it. The question it. was flatter Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> no, Guilty. something you admire in a oh, friend. Oh, in a friend. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I admire um, the ability to just like let, let loose. Like, mm. I think you can kind of see someone a little like anxious, but the moment they're like, okay, like it's fine. We're all here. I love that. And not, some people can't do that, right? Because they're just anxious people and that's fine. But those people who are able to just be like, hey, yeah, kicking back, having a good time. Like, I love that. And obviously that just makes me instantly feel like yeah. I can be like, right. You can do it too. Chill. Everybody, let's just like hang. Well, that's yeah. about a part about you that you make people feel that they can be comfortable, you know? Yes. Mm. Love that. Well, thank you. Mm. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Pink. Green. Blue. <laughs> the Powerpuff Girls? <gasps> Wait. Oh. We didn't know that. What? I don't think we knew that. You said green, you said pink, I said blue. Yeah. yeah. Girl. It's literally We've been sitting girl. on this. We've been sitting on this information. I don't think we've actually like said that though. Oh my god. Oh. All right. I love write, okay, that yeah. write that down. Uh-huh. Write that down. We'll write come back down. to that. What's one talent you wish you had? I just wish I had rhythm. Mm. <laughs> like there's an Dude. element of dancing you can't learn. In the same way that like if you're tone deaf, there's an element of singing you can't learn. Right. I am the equivalent of tone deaf for dancing where like I could I can sell it. I can smile. I can right. learn the choreography. But there's always going to be that that little bit that's missing. OK. And I wish I had it. That is so funny because I don't see that. I, in I my know. mind, you're like a good like you're a strong mover just like me. I'm like, yeah. 
Oh, thank you. So, baby, you giving us rhythm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's giving rhythm. Uh, it's fake, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I wish I could draw or like oh, paint or something. Yes. Like I wish I had like visual art skills. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't get any of that Me either. either. Um, I think that I just wish I could speak every language just mm. I, so I can understand everyone. That would be a good superpower. That Yeah, that's a Ooh. superpower. Sorry. Mm. It's can fine. I submit that for both? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, television show you've binged on recently. White Lotus. I just binged the first season. Oh, how was it? It was pretty good. Yeah. I'm, re- I'm ready to watch the second season because I'm confused, but I'm, I liked it. I, I binged it all. It. I'm watching The Vampire Diaries and dragging her along with me. Yeah, I've never oh. seen it before. It's my first time watching it. I haven't seen it either. Girl, if you guys love Twilight so much, which by the way, you need to tell Sierra how you were watching it for the first episode and you're like, this I is I was like, Twilight. this is Twilight. Like, almost, it was like the same plot, like same script. It was crazy. I was well, like, did anyone catch this? Right, that's like the whole, Twilight started that whole saga of like Teen Wolf, Vampire Diaries, like everything in that yeah. realm. Um, the Crown. Mm. Oh, my mom's great watching that. Yeah, I, I watched the first four seasons like consecutively last year and then season five just came out last month so I watched all of it in the course of like four days. Love that. Add it to my ongoing list of watching. I know. Longest list ever. Mm -hmm. What's your biggest regret? Uh, Well I've talked about this before but it like and it was something you said it was losing myself um, in someone else in a relationship for sure. I think is that I didn't allow myself to live with no regrets before. I didn't start this mm. mentality of just do it for the plot, just do it for yourself anyways, until maybe about like a year ago. I was mm. just like very like, Ooh, but what will they think? But what this, but what that, yeah. but what that? Forget it. I don't care. I'm doing everything from now on for myself. So Love it. <laughs> it's so cool to see that transformation too because like you and I only became close like a year ago and I remember how nervous you were about like starting TikTok, vlogging, and now mm. just seeing how comfortable you are in it. Yeah. You remember how scared you were to like share yeah. about like yeah. your, your feelings and just Little sharing life. about me. Just yeah. sharing about me is yeah. just felt so scary and I just didn't want people to have a, their own thoughts and it not be what I can control. And I'm like, right. I can't even do that even if I wanted to. Right. Even yeah. if I made it the Even if you perfect, tried to do it, yeah. I would still not. So, yeah. so I'm wasting my time and I wish that sooner I would have just, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Do it for Pete. Yeah. Do it for Pete. Do it. And, and that's the thing. Do it for your younger self. I always, mm. I love that trend again, always where you see that picture of your younger yeah. self. But I love oh. seeing pictures of my younger self and being like, for her. I'm doing this for you, girl. This yeah. is all for you. I yes. love that. Oh, I love that. I think my biggest regret is how much of my teen years I sat on the sidelines because I was uncomfortable with my body. Mm. And I look back at, and I realize it was never about my body. And I don't think I realized that until. I lost weight and it solved none of my problems and actually my insecurities got worse. Right. I wish I hadn't sat on the sidelines so much. I yeah. wish I'd just gone for it and I, I think it was just my insecurity holding me back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Getting in our own ways as always. Always. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm, I'm usually the person in the way. It's me. Yeah. Me. It's me. Hi. I'm the I'm problem. The problem. It's, me. it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your worst subject in school? Math. Geography. <sighs> Simply every single one. <laughs> <laughs> but but math and science. Yeah, math never came easily to me. And my brother was like a math genius and mm. we're only a grade apart. So I would have his same teachers and they would have this expectation oh. that I was going to be quiet, studious, and smart. And I was the opposite of all of those. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yep, same parents, same family, different vibes. Yeah, yep, yeah, different vibes. <laughs> That's so funny. Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? When I went to Cabo, I went to Cabo when I turned uh, 18. It was my graduation present, and it was lit. Lit. I honestly think it was this uh, past Aruba trip. That yeah. mm. that trip was just mass perfection. A beautiful place with beautiful people. Couldn't change it. Love, I love it. That. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I took my first solo trip with my dad. So he's a professor, so he would go speak at other colleges, and um, he got to go speak in uh, at a conference in Rome. And um, usually he would go by himself, or sometimes like the whole family would go. And this was the first time I got to go alone with him. And one of the other professors who um, also taught at another university in Europe had a daughter my age who had come to visit us before. And I knew her pretty well. And so while my dad was in the conference, I got to run around Rome with her and her mom. Love And it was just fantastic. And I bonded so much with my dad. And like even back then, I was still such a history nerd. And so seeing all the history was cool. I love that. She was living out her Lizzie McGuire. I was. No, I was going to say. That's the trip where my mom was like, I was like, oh, I loved the history. And my mom was like, no, you just wanted no. to be Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> right. Yes, on the back of Paolo's bike. Yes. Right. <laughs> if you could make a documentary about anything, what would it be? My life. It's insane. 
Sibley. Someone put her on a reality TV show. Yep. That's really like a Kardashian vibe. Yeah. Let's just let's just get the cameras. She's in the confessionals. Hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> Paloma is so annoying. Yeah, <laughs> she won't stop at the Dear Evan Hansen. See, you know how usually in confessionals they have to like cut it up to like make you sound shady. Yeah, they could they could just, just use run it. it. Just run it. No <laughs> editing necessary. <laughs> You'd give them everything. You'd make I their would. job so easy. So <laughs> easy. They're like, oh, we don't even, have, you know how like those things come out and take them? We're like, oh yeah, we give them so much alcohol and we like don't feed them. Yeah. I'm like, you you're don't like, have don't to even do, do that. Just, <laughs> just turn the cameras on. Run the camera. Let it roll. <laughs> A day in the life of Jeff Probst Ooh. on the set of Survivor. Like just seeing every, I've consumed every little morsel I can find of the behind the scenes of Survivor. It is fascinating. And like Jeff's involvement, not as just a host, but an executive producer and then living on the island? Right. You need to more. see what's going on. Yeah. More. More. <laughs> this is going back into our, like, the guilty pleasure. I think that the world needs a behind the scenes of the actual tea that happens on the sets of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Like, we're, we're interviewing yeah. the makeup, the nannies. Yes. yes. All of the behind the scenes people. Yep. Like, the PAs. I want to talk to the PA. Yeah. Oh, because it's, it's, it's reality TV, but it's so manufactured. And because they're all producers, nothing is shown that they don't want show. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I want so, to see what they don't want us to see. Yeah. So I want to see that. <laughs> I love that. I love That's that. a great answer. Thank you. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Savory. Savory. What's the best compliment you've ever received? You smell so good. That's you my, said that in your wish list video. It's my favorite compliment. I watched it this morning. <laughs> Thank you. When people tell me, I, I, I just can be myself around you. I just yeah. feel s- that's the best compliment. Good. That's the point. <laughs> right. <laughs> Genuinely, and I'm not just saying this. You guys saying that I make you feel like you can do anything. Oh, I sound so shallow now. <laughs> Besides your phone or wallet, what are a couple of must-have purse or bag items? Chapstick. Hand sanitizer. Any sort of cup with a straw. Mm. Cup with It doesn't go in my purse or my bag. I just need it on my person at all times. I think that counts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought you were going to say that little tiny fan that flips out. <gasps> that, too. Uh, <laughs> when, we were, when we were shooting the... Uh, cover art and everything the makeup artist olivia had one and then we all went and bought them after because they like flip out they're like so small love that oh this one's kind of introspective what color clothing do you wear the most blues i i'm always drawn to blues and when i'm buying new clothes i have to stop myself because i'm like i need some variety Mm. i'm always drawn to blues i always want to wear black like that is just something that i always want to buy but i'm like nope 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 so then Throw in some pink. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like neutrals, earth tones, browns, creams, mm. that kind of color, yeah. Favorite snack? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Lunchables. That's Ooh, not- which kind? <laughs> the one that has the Reese's peanut butter cup, mm-hmm. the ham, the cheese. Mm-hmm. No, li- I lied. The pizza? The No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My favorite Lunchable is the nacho ones. I do love <gasps> those. What's <laughs> crazy is that that's... I was. That's not your favorite snack. Your favorite snack is literally chips and salsa. That's what you eat all the time. When was the last time you had a Lunchable? Yesterday. No. <laughs> Bro, you eat chips and salsa every day. All right. Every day. I would like That's to say. That's crazy that you wouldn't say that. B- well, I'm so sorry. T, T, T. Here's the thing. I just don't think I like. B- <laughs> yes, chips and salsa are the correct one. I, I've been played. <laughs> By knows, yourself. At this point, Ryan knows me more than I know myself. Yeah. So just direct all questions to her. <laughs> but didn't, didn't the Nacho Lunchable also have a little thing of salsa? Yes. yes. That, so. so Thank you, Sierra. You're so, welcome. So the, if, if I'm I, on your side. If anything, th- that is chips and salsa. Okay, you're right. But just, salsa and cheese. And cheese. Oh, my God. See, it's, it's, okay, it's nachos. Right. It's nachos. <laughs> With a little Reese's treat. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is your idea of a perfect vacation? Equal parts relaxing and excursions. Yes. I don't want a packed schedule. I do not want to be, you're going here, you're going here, you're going here, and then this coffee shop, and then this restaurant, and then zip lining, and then did, Like, I, I need downtime. And I also need time to just let the trip happen. Like right. where you're doing, you're going out and you're just walking around town and you're seeing what you see. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I, I want to let, oh, let's go into this restaurant. This looks interesting. Yeah. Oh, perhaps we go on this boat excursion. I right. completely agree. I feel the same way, yeah. Boy Ryan is the type of guy that when we're on vacation, he's like, 
kayaking trip another club bus not like we are going 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 and i'm a very love hanging out taking that peace and like because it's vacation i want to relax on the vacation because right i love hanging out in the hotel room like that bed mm. fresh sheets i'm just chilling in the ac because right. i have it down to crank crank down to 60 yes. right and so what i told him actually for this upcoming trip that we just went to for the aruba i said hey I love that we're always busy, but I need a little bit more chill time. What if we did a one day excursion, one day resort, one day excursion, right. one day chill? And that worked out so nicely. So if you're really trying to find that balance, Every just other. alternate days. Yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. I feel the same way. Equal equal excursion, equal chill. Mm-hmm. What song can you listen to on repeat? All too well, 10 minute version. Taylor's version. From the vault. <laughs> right. Right. You had to know it was so, Specifically, yeah. which one? <laughs> Oh my god! I know. I'm just. I wish we had already gotten our Spotify wrap so I could see I what's know, going on I on know. there. You know, because the sponsorship I did with it with them, they sent me mine early. <gasps> I know. So I already, I already got to see mine. That's awesome. I and was, love. Was that. it just T Swift and who else? I can't tell you guys because remember we're gonna do the um, two truths and a lie. Yes, for my Spotify thing. Okay. Yes. So, but but yes. Right. Okay. It, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got. It. Um, I don't. I really think. And guilty, just the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack. Like honestly, just the whole thing. Mine's mine's embarrassing as well. But like simply like any song off Journals, Justin Bieber. Like I love. Like I, I'm so sorry. I, hate I don't to say think it. I've. I'm so sorry. I don't think no, I've it's listened literally to a fi- single song. It's simply fine. It's also not new. It's very old. <laughs> <laughs> like 2013. It's old, but it's my. Oh. It's it's not my favorite album. But it's one of my. It's favorites. like post One Less Lonely Girl, but pre- very very like, post One Less. Well, One Lonely Less Lonely Girl. Girl was not that long before 2013. Was that 2009, mm. 2010? Yeah, like 2008. Like it wasn't okay. not so long time. Okay. Regardless. I'm sorry, I offended you with this. I no, was going to say, okay. you, it, I'm like, it's con- a long time. There was a lot of albums in between that <laughs> and this one. It's fine. It's fine. Our uh, resident Justin Bieber fan and our resident Taylor Swift fan. Yeah. yeah. We're about to fight. Yeah. yeah, we are about to fight. <laughs> if you're in a bad mood, do you prefer to be left alone or have someone cheer you up? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Which is so funny because Steven is such like a a loving, caring partner. He wants to help me through things. Mm-hmm. And like there's a time for that. But first, I need to be alone. Let me just feel That's what the I important feel. part for me. I think that when I'm initially angry, I just need a moment to myself. Mm-hmm. And I just I just want to take it to myself and mm-hmm. then cheer me up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to allow myself to feel the anger first and just like process and not that have and then you move on. be around or like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you're around and I'm like trying to get through it, like it's going to come, like you're going to get it and like it's not even yeah. what I want. Like yeah. I just yeah. want to have my moment. Yeah. Just yeah. feel the anger and move on. Yep. Okay. Wait, Jess, how, what question number are we at? We are approaching 48. Okay. We got some work to we, do, ladies. Yeah, we we've do. been sitting here for a while. We've been chatting. Okay. Maybe, maybe, should we do some? Some rapid fire? Yes. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. It's so hard because I'm such a talker. I want to explain my answer. Right. But even in the 73 questions, look at me. I'm explaining why I shouldn't explain. Right. Even in the 73 <laughs> questions, they like just- They just go. Want to answer it? But like- I'm, But I want to tell you why. tell you why. No, we don't have time for that. Okay. Okay. We got it. Focus. Do some rapid fire. Yes. Here we go. Okay. What's your biggest strength? Talking. 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 What makes you laugh no matter what? Someone saying penis. <laughs> The broken escalator video. Do you guys remember that? It went viral like literally in 2008, 2010. No. It's like people on, uh, say, I'm explaining, sorry. It's, <laughs> it's people on an escalator, but they're acting like they're stuck in an elevator and they can't get off. And it's so funny. It used oh to make God, me no. laugh so hard. Okay. No. After we cut, you will be showing yeah, me that. Yeah, you'll be showing that. Honestly, I, right now I'm loving the voice changing TikToks. Oh my they, gosh, Those so crack funny. me up. That sounds those. like Stewie. Yes. yes. Sorry, we're talking. Next. Who is your favorite musical character? Like from a musical? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. Elle Woods. Damn it. Mm. You can say that. It could be yours. <laughs> L Woods. L Woods. <laughs> <laughs> What's your pet peeve? When people chew with their mouth open loudly, loud, loud. When you're talking in a circle and someone purposely steps in front to cut someone out. Mm. Right? So mean. Why? So no, mean. that's rude. That's open so up rude. the circle. Right. So mean. Um, um, pet peeve. Rude, just rude people in general. Karen's. I hate Ugh. all of you. I'm so sorry. Annoying. Favorite food or meal? Korean noodles. Tacos. Cheesecake. Oh, Ooh. yum. In New York specifically. Nope. <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you feel accomplished? When you've been working really hard on a YouTube video and then you finally click I was literally going to say the same thing. I was Such literally going to say the same thing. When I am at my planner and I cross off mm. what I've done at like the end of the day, I just yep. feel so good. Yep. 
That's a good one. Ooh, and at the end of the day, when my Google Doc is empty for the day. Yes. And I get to delete the date. Yes. Mm. <laughs> What's your idea of a perfect date? Food, drinks. Cuddling. Yep. <laughs> yes. Restaurant on or near the beach with a cheese board, good conversation, and a couple glasses of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Agreed. Yep. I want that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should we go right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite fast food order right now? In and out, double double, uh, chopped chilies, whole grilled onions, no tomatoes with a root beer. Taco Bell brought back those nacho fries. Girl, I was gonna say nacho fries. I was gonna say Taco Bell Crunch Wrap Supreme with a Baja Blast, please, mm. and the cinnamon delights. Baja yep. Blast freeze, freeze or regular? Okay, freeze. 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 Yep, I'm a freeze girl. Same. What is one thing you still have from your childhood? Oh, I have a Stitch plush toy that I got in 2003 that I still have. It's on my bed, it's still there. Aww. Yeah, so yeah, sweet. yeah. Yeah, I still have my Nana. I don't have her in bed with me, but she's still still there. My little blanket that I used to have, pink silky little blanket that I would need to sleep with. Yeah. My parents kept like a bunch of the creative writing stories that I used to do, like some for school and some just like for fun. Like I used to just always write stories and I would like make little covers and stuff and like draw the Cute. cover art. And I still have a lot of those. That's sweet. Oh, that's so that's sweet. And my, my rock collection. Ah. Uh, Most recent celebrity crush. It's still Zac Efron. But new season of Down to Earth from Netflix. So Okay, period. Um, Elda Beckham Jr. Most, most recent. Oh my gosh. Watching The Crown. Um, the the girl, her name's Vanessa Kirby, who plays Princess Margaret in the early seasons. Mm. Something about her, I'm like, you are like refined elegance, but like hot. Mm. Her. I Period. Like refined her. elegance, but hot. Okay. Yeah. I, I have to that. check out that show. Yeah, Me it's too, good. So yeah. How do you know if you're in love? Ugh. I get annoyed you do with that. myself. You yeah. do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like annoyed with everything that ever comes out of my mouth. That's how I know. Because <laughs> it's so mushy and gushy? Yeah, I hate that. Mm. <laughs> I think for me personally, my family sees the best side of me when I'm with them. Mm. How do you know if you're in love? I think that it just feels easy, you know? And I know that it's it, – obviously relationships are hard and they are work. I'm not going to say it, but it feels. Because yeah. even when you're dis, uh, disagreeing – Even when it's hard. Even it's when easy. it's hard, it's easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good one. What do you do to relax? <laughs> do I want to say it? I was going to say that <laughs> Uh, I have a little me time. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. I uh, partake in some adult uh, beverages. That's not, it's not, it's, yeah, I'm a grown up. So I do what grown ups do. <laughs> yeah. What do grown ups do when they relax? They pop up a bottle of wine and take a bath and yeah. hide from everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually think that that's mine. Just if I, if I have some wine in the bath and I have music blasting. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the bathtub? In the mm-hmm. bath? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is one goal you are determined to achieve in your lifetime? This, this is, is so, so far out there. I really want to hike Machu Picchu. <laughs> I've been saying this for like years i'm, I'm like screaming. i'm like, why just, i don't know and i'll <laughs> go said, through why i'll go through stages like i i you know what? i'm nope that's it leave I just, it at that she just wants to i really want to okay. hike machu picchu i love that there's a train you can take but i don't want it it's not about it's not about seeing machu picchu i mean it is it's about taking the incan trail nice to machu picchu <laughs> Okay, your period. Um, I want this is so like whatever, but I want to make a million dollars from one thing. Like Ooh. I want to make a million dollars from doing one thing, not like collectively. I think this will. thing will make me a million dollars. I completely agree. You will. Thank you. You will. Very yes. Best. And I think that I want to. Uh, so I've never done like deep, deep sea snorkeling or anything like that. Like I want to do that like somewhere. With the fish. That's why, because I'm afraid of fish. So, but I know that I want to do that. Like, I mm. want to see the deep ocean. But like, how do I do like that? in a submarine or like like diving? I want my like just my body. Oh, you know, like I like no. I, that's Ooh. scary. Especially like I said with me with my fish thing. So that's something that I'm determined to do one day. F- fuck the fish, even though I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my ass in yep. a, in an in an ocean and mm-hmm. just swimming and looking at all the different. Because like, there's even different kinds of fish you've never even seen. Like, I don't even know what I'm scared of. I gotta go check them out. So, <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> you're making a million dollars while I'm at Machu Picchu. And, and Paloma's in the saying, ocean. Fuck the fish. Fuck the fish. <laughs> Goodness. The rapid fire is so fun. I actually love it. Yeah. Are you a texter or a caller? I'm a caller. Everyone here can attest. I am yeah. so bad at texting. Yeah. Steven even said the other day, he said, you know, 
I was thinking about this the other day, how I used to always send you good morning texts, and then I stopped because you never texted me back. I'm <laughs> screaming. No, yeah, you have to call Sierra. If it's really important, like, just call. Yeah. Simply. I'm a texter, but I, I like to call who I like to call. I have, like, a handful of people that I will always call, but don't call me. Yep, text me, and if you do want to call me, text me before calling Text me, me. you're going to call so me. Much. Yep, thank you. Sorry, I'm just calling you. It's okay. I will answer <laughs> the phone when you call. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What is your least favorite food to eat? Raw fish. Salad. Mushrooms, which is hard because I'm a vegetarian. And mm-hmm. mushroom is often the substitution. Right. So right. Like in burgers, it's like those portobello. It's like the those... texture. It's too slimy. Fair. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's fun guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Who would you say was your role model growing up? Raven Simone. Or my mom, I guess. Gosh, Hillary Duff. I was going to say specifically the character Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. <laughs> I was mm-hmm. like obsessed. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> What's the most Californian thing about you? The way I speak. The way I can't stop saying like, like, like. Yeah. yeah. That is. Like the way that I like talk like to you guys. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's mm-hmm. the most California thing. Yep. hundred percent. What makes you angry? Most things. Just kidding. <laughs> um, rude people. I don't understand it. You know, I was going to say ignorance, but maybe it's not so much ignorance because a lot. Yes, sometimes that's chosen, but also a lot of the times like I sh- instead of being angry, I should go for educating because right. I've been ignorant on things before I needed to be educated. But really what I think it is is disrespect. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether it's to me or to other people or especially like marginalized groups, mm-hmm. just being disrespectful. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? Right. And this might be a little s- sensitive, but um, I really, what makes me angry is when people uh, spew hate in the name of something good, like in God. Like, yes. right. like, you're, you're, like you are promoting and literally just talking and being hateful and you're using it in it. In the name of God. In the name of God. Yes. Right. I don't like that. Yep. That's God only wants love. I'm sorry. That's yep. what's made me move away from the label of Christian yeah. and move towards the label of like follower of Christ. Mm-hmm. Because that word Christian, while it is not a problem, people use that as a front for hate. Yep. Mm-hmm. I agree. And I'm right. like, I don't, I'm I'm not that. Not me. Listen, yeah. yeah. I, I sidebar, I really think that people give God a bad rep sometimes by saying like, oh, well, God this, God that. I said, mm-mm, I don't I said think. you said that. I said you said that. I don't think he would promote yeah. that kind of hateful stuff. But anyways. Right. Religion me. is like the oldest tool in the book for like justifying your actions. Yep. Lead with love, babe. Yeah. yeah. We won't have any problems. Right. What's one ingredient you put in everything? Garlic salt. Hot sauce. <laughs> Nutritional yeast. Yeah, nutritional yeast, probably. Much to Stephen's dismay. <laughs> I now have to like separate it out first because he I does not that. like it. Wow. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? Jeff Probst. <laughs> honestly, honestly, a Kardashian. Yes. And, and not because oh. I want to live their life. I simply am not interested, but I just want to know what they actually do on a day to day basis. Like, I just need to see. Yeah. What I want to switch lives with like. Maybe like the lead girl in like a Broadway show. I just want to see what that's like. I just want to have that experience. So mm-hmm. maybe like switching lives with the, the the current Mean Girls tour girl or something. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. What's the first thing you thought of this morning? Oh shit! I have to get to set. <laughs> um, right. I thought, oh, I, I woke up a little early today. I woke up like fifteen minutes before my alarm, so I was like, ooh, I get, I get some time to sit in bed before I have to hop up and get ready. Yeah. Right. Um, I thought about somebody. Next. Speak. Next. Next. Ne- next. Oh. Thank you, next. Yeah, I guess we can't elaborate. <laughs> nope, we can't. That's the rules. Sorry. Coincidentally, what's the cutest thing on planet Earth? My child. My, I'm, I'm yeah. so annoying. No, that's. I was going to say my sister. Yeah. 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 Those are so sweet. Uh, what's the cutest thing on the planet Earth? Oh my God, I don't have a kid or a sister. And I don't want to say my brother. Honest. Dogs. I'm sorry. Yeah, dogs. Dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's just That was it. a close second. It's my sister and dogs. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Where do you feel most at home? This sounds lame, but when I'm with my boy, Ryan. Yeah. I was going to say when me, Steven, and Grace are all together. I feel most at home when I'm like in my bed, like in my bed, in yes. my room. With my things. You're in Watching LA. Watching Family Guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just by myself with my stuff. With snacks. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And a cocktail. What's one thing you wish you knew at age 19? One thing. You don't know. You don't know. You're never going to please everyone, so it's okay to not try. Or not, maybe not try, but not fixate. Mm-hmm. Try, but then don't don't just keep trying. Right. Let, let it, it go. Let it go. Yeah. Don't try to rush everything. Just try mm. to be so present. Oh yeah, my God. that's a good Actually, one. Actually, 
that I know I think I changed mine to so, that. So so much of my late teens and twenties was like, what's next? What's mm-hmm. next? What's next? Yeah. And that was my all time like when I was nineteen, I think I was one of the happiest times. Like so I just if I would have just slowed down yep. one minute and yeah. taken one deep breath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that would have done it. I wish I yeah. could go back and be like, just enjoy this. Yeah. Like I know you're excited about what's next, but like this, this is good. Well, because you blink and you're twenty six. But maybe also I'm just romanticizing that. Cause like mental health wasn't great. Confidence wasn't great. Didn't know what I wanted to do. Wasn't like financially stable. So maybe it was not, maybe it wasn't what it should have been. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. But I think the point of it, right, is like you now have all of these things, right? All these responsibilities, all this stuff. And like you don't get to go back and like just be a teenager for a moment. Yeah. Like that's gone. It's never coming back. And I think that's where I what's true. Like it's sad, but I'm like, damn, like she's grown now and we don't get to just be like Yeah, like being in school like being in school where you're just like, I hate school. I hate like, school. That's if the I, only thing you if have I, to do. I know. Like if I would have known back in the day, like, girl, you just love school. You live in it, live in it. But yeah. that's the thing that our parents tell us. Don't rush. Don't right. don't rush to be older. But yeah. people just say that and you don't learn you the lesson until you live it. Until you're older and you're like telling your whoever, like, oh, don't rush. It's just a sick cycle. It's a yeah. sick cycle. I'm trying to get that through my brother's head, right? My little brother, right now, because he's 20. Like, just enjoy, just sit back. Yeah, it's, it's all okay. coming. It's yeah. all coming. It's gonna come anyway. So just let it come. You know what they say? Life's what you make it. So mm-hmm. let's, let's make, make it, it rock. rock. <laughs> let's make it rock. Uh. What's the best thing that happened this year? The podcast. Yes. Yes. This the podcast. Is, this is the best thing. This is the best thing that happened. This you year. guys are the best thing. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, what, how, how well are we doing on this rapid fire? What question are we at? I know. I was just about to tell you. You're hit, you, it's the 73rd <gasps> question. No, oh my God. God. Really? Oh, my God. Damn, we really, went, we really did that. We really went I was for not, it. I was like, we're on like 54. 55. Yeah. I, was like, <laughs> I was like, we're going to have to make this a two-parter. No, exactly. <laughs> this one is one of the more cliche ones, but I feel like a very classic 73 Vogue questions question. Okay. How would you define yourself in three words? Ooh. I know it's a stumper. I will also accept if you want to define one another in three words. Oh, oh. to close out the episode. I kind of like. I kind of like that. That's it's like a, let's make it a group project. <coughs> yeah, it's a group okay. project. So what we think plus what three things? I feel like the three of us have to have outgoing at one point. Like just soup. What's that one that we all the three of us have that one? Mm-hmm. Just yeah, outgoing. outgoing, outgoing. I think so. Well, now I got to. This is like a. I need to think. I think. At this point in my life, definitely just like mom is one of as one of those things. And I, I cool I'm cool mom. Cool mom. Cool it's mom. not a regular cool mom. mom. <laughs> I'm glad it's three and not one because mm. that's one thing that I is very important to me. That yes, I am a mom, but that is not all that I am. Mm-hmm. And I have tried to be very intentional about not losing myself in motherhood. And there's there's an element of yourself that I think you kind of have to lose when mm-hmm. you become a mom or you just you can't help but yeah. lose. Yeah. Right? And I will never be the same person that I was before I had Grace. Mm-hmm. And that's OK. And I'm not trying to be that person. But being a mom is like my favorite part of me. Mm-hmm. And so I don't want to I don't want to say, oh, well, I, I don't want motherhood to be all that I am. So not mom, but mom. And, and yeah. I'm happy with that. And I've I worked so hard and went through so much to get to that point that I like really am proud mm-hmm. to be a mom. Yeah. yeah. It's not all they, that I am, but that's a huge, huge part of me in my life right now. And yeah. you're a badass mom. You are. Thank you are. You. Truly. Thank you. Thank you. I think there's a part of me that also thinks maybe entertainer. Like I just love to make people laugh and entertain. Maybe that the entertain them. Just mm-hmm. yeah. entertainer. I think I might yeah. define me too. Outgoing, entertainer, and hopeful. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I, I like that. that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Uh, I think I would say rowdy. I like that for you. <laughs> I like per- that. That's rowdy. a perfect word for you. <laughs> um, to know me is to know that I really am a lover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, despite how it may seem. And I hate to say this, but like funny. She's a comedian. You are. <laughs> so yeah. sorry. Yeah. That's why I knew you and my friend Haley were going to get along. Oh, because yes. she's a roaster. I love it. And you're it. a roaster. Mm. And so I'm like, they can just roast each other. Roast each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I would say. And Sierra. Yeah, you have two more. Uh, I've, well, oh, wait. Outgoing. Mom. Mom's a second. Oh, outgoing. outgoing. Mom. Mom. And one more. I'm trying to think of the word for like, just kind of letting myself be myself. 
like authentic authentic yeah m- letting myself not even just that but like letting myself be loud and boisterous and mm. over the top and like not dimming that light I think for a long time I felt like I needed to dim that light to be taken seriously as an adult right people say like oh like you have to grow up or yeah. like oh you're acting like a like a child and I'm like I'm a mom I'm an adult I'm in my 20s but also there is that piece of me that goofy childlike just going out there kind of aspect of me that I I'm not losing an age and I'm glad right you know it's that thing that people say oh you'll you'll grow out of it you'll lose that maybe that spark Mm. and I don't think I've lost it and I don't want to yeah Yeah. and for a long time I felt like I needed to and now I've just accepted I think that word is just you're secure and you're you're just secure in yourself you're a secure person so you are giving yourself permission to be loud to be who you are yeah yeah Yeah. it's like your inner child yes yeah it's It's, my inner child you wear it so you're secure yeah yeah Yeah. I I am the person who wants to like skip down main street at Disneyland and roll down the grass hill and spin in circles on the beach and like right. I want to do that when I'm 80. Yeah. I don't want to let go of that just because I'm getting older. Right. And you're supposed to. Yeah. yeah. And that makes me think of another one that I think one that makes us all playful. We're just very yeah. that's it. Yeah. Playful. playful. That's the word I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel that. And I feel that with all of us as well. Mm-hmm. Like we're just here. That's why we come here and we work we play dress for up. no reason. <laughs> yeah. I just and we sit play. here and talk and that's it because mm-hmm. we live other lives where we necessarily might not be able to like get dressed up and have fun with our friends but like yeah this is what we did when we were 10 yeah we go to our friend's house and we put, put the clothes on and go in the spare room and we and perform <laughs> yeah. yeah and we would say mom watch the Come dance watch we made it. and now you which camera is the wide camera that the one top one <laughs> yes you are mom yes and we say mom look we watch. dressed up look what we did look mom do you <laughs> like it do you like it <laughs> say something nice comment something nice <laughs> yeah yeah oh I was going to say, all of you are tenacious, and I think you'll Ooh. be that till you are old and gray. Mm. But it's very special, and I feel like that brings you all together. Aw, Jess. Aww. Jess. Aww. That's so sweet. You guys, we made it to 73. I really didn't think we were going to make it, y'all. When Jess said, what What were we at? We were like 48. 48. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, oh. I was like, we've been here for hours. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no. Starving. The Postmates is going to get cold. No, totally. <laughs> but we made it. We, we made did it. it. Well, Thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you again to Helix Sleep for sponsoring. Mm -hmm. You can click our link in the description to get that special offer. And uh, we will see you next week in another special holiday outfit. Yes. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.